So I actually read something earlier today that was talking about being suicidal versus suicide. And it just got me to thinking about something that I've had roll around in this crazy thing between my ears called my brain uh, for quite some time. And I've just been waiting for the time when my heart just felt like it was time to share it. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that now because that picture. And then also just reminiscing about a friend of mine um, that a couple of years back um, could not take uh, just the pressure of life any longer and so that just ended and so it just got me thinking uh, about some things that our family personally has dealt with and then certainly some close friends of mine uh, acquaintances uh, just just lots of people deal with it actually millions and it's so taboo that we don't talk about it and that is mental illness now I didn't say mental disease uh, th that's just a completely uh, totally separate topic what I'm saying is mental illness I'm talking about things just get off and there's not this big uh, emotional psychological crazy therapeutic weirdness that needs to happen it's just a chemical imbalance and it needs to be dealt with um, and I didn't used to be a very big fan of, of just dealing with it I thought that it was okay to kind of just not talk about it until it hit our family extremely hard and um, so my thoughts on it are just totally different now I want to say to you today um, that if you uh, had a daughter and she fell off of her bike and she broke her leg you would take her immediately to see someone to get her leg fixed so that she could have an abundant full free life right you would not let your child fall and break her leg fall off of a bike break her leg and take her inside and uh, talk through it and then if she kept whining maybe just start ignoring it and hope the issue goes away you wouldn't do that would you uh, but if your daughter happened to have a break in her ability to do this life um, well, what do we do? <laughs> That's my question is, what do we really do? Uh, because I can tell you I spent a number of years kind of just ignoring it and it got to the point where it just felt like it was this big uh, ploy for attention. It was quite annoying to me until I realized that it was actually uh, very, very similar to breaking your leg and that it's easily fixable. And I say easily doesn't mean it's going to happen overnight, but I know that it will happen because, again, we've watched it happen in our own family. Um, so I encourage you today to, to not wait till the suicide before you start talking about these things that can be prevented now when folks are suicidal and you know who they are and for years you've told yourself they're just looking for attention for years you have put it off like it's something that would just kind of fizzle out in time and I'm telling you um, that once that person transitions from suicidal to suicide you're going to say oh but we we had no idea and I, I really thought I knew them. I really thought I did. Now, I'm not saying that suicides sometimes don't happen for families that, that really, truly had no idea. But I would dare say that I, I would say 99% of them uh, were, were aware of the suicidal tendencies before they happened. Am I saying that it's your fault if this has happened in your family or that if it happens in the future, it's your fault? Absolutely not. All I'm saying is you love your friend, your family member, your neighbor, your spouse, your child, right? Loving them would be interacting and engaging in the situation why it's suicidal versus speaking it at their eulogy after it's suicide. Mental illness is not a big deal. Uh, breaking your leg is not a big deal. And it's high time that we actually see what's going on around us and stop going, shh, did you hear about her? Shh. Let's face it head on and let's go out and rescue these folks. Get it? Got it? Good. Word. Word. <laughs>